new, welcome. If you are a returner, thank you. Must you distract me? This is Pippa. She's today's guest feature. Say hi. She's rude. Okay, so by the title of the video, you see that today I'm going to be talking about spring and summer essentials that I can't live without. So I'm going to start with accessories, which I don't really have much as accessories to talk about. I'm just going to talk about sunglasses, as you can see. So for sunglasses, it's either big or small, no in between. So either tiny sunglasses, okay, or oversized is what I go for. None of that regular shit. Stop barking. I got these sunglasses from Urban Outfitters a few years ago, so I don't know if they're still available. These ones I literally found in my house, so I have no clue where they're from. But you can pretty much find tiny sunglasses anywhere nowadays since they're so on trend. Um, for bags, this is probably my number one bag that I carry in the summer. A tiny backpack. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But just a tiny little black backpack you can wear with anything and you can wear it like with any outfit. You can dress it up or down. So this is like a definite essential. I carry this pretty much every day in the summer and actually pretty much any season too, but definitely in the summer. Okay, what should we do next? So the spring and summer, obviously it's warmer, so sandals are a must. I don't really like wearing sandals because I don't like my feet, but everyone else likes wearing sandals, so I will mention this in this video. Um, but these are some mules. I like mules, like they're probably my favorite sandal because they just like are chic. These are from Steve Madden, and love those. And then also just like chill sandals that you can wear like around the house or to like the grocery store. These are just my fuzzy slides, also from Steve Madden. Shout out to you, Steve. Yeah, so I wear those a lot in the summer. Also, a shoe essential for spring or summer are white tennis shoes, but specifically Nike Air Force Ones. Um, these are super dirty and creased, so sorry about that. But um, white shoes just like go with anything, obviously, and I specifically like Nike Air Force Ones because I feel like they're classic and they're never gonna go out of style, which the dad sneakers, like big chunky sneakers at the moment, those will go out of style. They're just on trend right now. These like have been around for so long. So get your hands on these. Okay, let's move into clothing. So obviously spring summer dresses are very common. So here I picked just like a simple jean dress. It's like, it doesn't go all the way to the floor. It's like mid calf. This doesn't really fit me, but I'm going to lose some weight so I can fit into it. Um, I got this at a flea market. So, yeah, this is cute. Dresses are good for spring and summer because they're airy, so you don't sweat as much. And, like, they're easy to wear because they're not a bunch of different pieces. You just throw it on. You feel me? So, a graphic t-shirt is a must for spring and summer. This is from Adidas. And you can wear these with anything. That's why I love t-shirts. And they're just like comfortable for those hot days. Um, yeah. Just a t-shirt. Like, you know, you know it's good. Gotta have it. And then, more specifically with t-shirts. Cropped t-shirts. Oh, yes, honey. I love cropped t-shirts because... They're chill, but they're also like a statement like, hey, I have like a good body and I want to show it, but I'm also like chilling out because I'm wearing a t-shirt. So crop tops definitely always, obviously, everyone loves a good crop top, especially your own do-it-yourself t-shirt crop top. Okay, so now a very must-have essential is 
cropped hoodies. We love a good cropped hoodie or a zip up jacket in the spring and summer because you know it gets chilly some days and you still want to be comfortable, cute, sexy, but also warm. So a cropped hoodie or zip up and you can unzip it, show a little some, and yeah, stay warm. This one is just a normal cropped sweatshirt that I cut. That was an ugly sweatshirt and I made it cute by cropping it. Another DIY we love. Okay, so now for pants. I'm just gonna talk briefly about pants. Um, must have spring, summer pants are jean shorts, jorts if you must. But these are just Levi's. I got them probably like while thrifting, but just high-waisted jean shorts are must because they look good with everything. They look good on anybody. And yeah, who wouldn't want these? Like how cute. Sorry, I'm not trying anything on. I'm just not feeling it. And you can pretty much tell what everything is without me trying it on. Now, for other pants. Jeans are a absolute must, of course. Everyone loves a good pair of jeans. And in the spring and summer, those colder nights, you're gonna need some jeans to throw on because they go with everything, just like the jean shorts. From daytime, you can change from the jean shorts to the jeans, you know, it's perfect. These are BDG Girlfriend High Rise jeans from Urban Outfitters. My absolute favorite jeans, they fit perfectly. I've gotten several of this brand and I love them. This is pretty much all I wear nowadays. Um, they're like more of a straight leg instead of skinny, which I'm not into like skinny jeans anymore. So like the ends like kind of are just straight, you know, yeah. But love these and they're a good price point. I think they're like $60, which is great for jeans and yeah, can't live without them. So just for a fun addition to your spring summer wardrobe, what you need is nipple covers. Hey! There's a lot of shirts in the spring and summer, like tube tops or tank tops that I don't want to wear a bra in, but I don't want my nipple showing. Like if I'm around my family, like obviously I don't want my nip showing. I just, I see a bug. Anyways. Yeah, so get nipple covers. They're very inexpensive. Sometimes you need a put together outfit without wearing a bra, but your nipples are showing, so you don't want your nipples to show because you don't want to look like that. So you need nipple covers. Okay, we're done with this. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Let me know what essentials that you think that you need in your wardrobe that you liked from this video, or let me know things that you think I forgot. But thanks again for tuning in. Love yes.